Hello folks, uh, yes it's been a while, but we're back in Conan Exiles to look at the big March the 23rd content patch, the first of several big updates that are planned for early access. And this one adds an armour dying mechanism, along with a system that makes buildings decay over time, and lots of other smaller things. Uh, so in this video I'll quickly go through the interesting um, smaller changes, um, and not the boring ones, <laughs> and we'll actually play the game to see how dying works. Uh, but before that, uh, I better mention that if you play on official servers, you're in for some serious wipes. Um, all buildings and inventories will be wiped, although character levels will remain. Uh, this is to fix some serious exploits. Uh, that doesn't affect me here on a private server, um, although if you do win a private server, you do have the choice of performing a wipe. So before we start listing all changes and stuff, let's start off looking at the die system, and because we will have to wait for a few things to happen. And to get dying working, so you can actually dye your armour, you need stuff, and a lot of it. Um, you do need to make a flask mould using iron, a glass using crystal, and the dyes themselves using filled flasks along with a colour. And you do need a fireball cauldron, and a furnace, and just your general base equipment and stuff like that. And this is not something that you can do immediately, you do have to be a bit levelled up, as pretty much everything is in this game. So let's have a go at making the, the glass mould. And for this I think you need to go to the blacksmith's bench. And this unlocks quite early on. Um, it's just a glass flask mould. And you need 15 iron bars. So we can be slowly crafting that. And that's going to take a bit of time. So yes, yeah, let's have a look at some of the other changes in this patch. Um, the building decay system is a big change, uh, but it's something that's not really video worthy. Um, so basically, old buildings will d eventually disappear over time uh, to keep public servers clean. I mean, it's switched off on private servers by default. So I'm not just going to have a wander along the beach in this game, come back, and it's all gone. That's not going to happen. So there are eight new weapons in the game, and weapons in general have been rebalanced. Um, feet requirements have been changed again. Um, you can craft hyena fur armour using bone at an armourer's bench, if you have an armourer thrall, apparently. Uh, speaking of which, thralls are now an animated properly, although mine still hasn't actually happened properly yet. I <laughs> lost interest in the whole thing. Um, yeah, um, also admins can speed up thrall conversion on their servers using a setting. A cactus harvesting now gives fibres and something called, I think it's cochineal or something like that, and which are insects that live on cactuses, z -z 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 -z, or cacti. Apparently in the real world they can be farmed and they're used for crimson dyes. So yeah, in this game it does turn out that they are going to be used for a red dye. Uh, also the armour duplication bug that you could sometimes swipe armour from dead bodies, um, that's been fixed along with a load of other exploits. So let's actually hope this is actually done. Yeah, there we go. It's all sorted. So let's do that. So now I suppose we need to actually make some glass. Um, you get crystal from caves, mining out caves, and then you can turn that into glass. Uh, there's a crystal already in there, conveniently. And then we sort it all out, and there we go with a lots of exciting... Yeah, the glass. So this will again take a while. <sighs> So slowly but surely the glass is happening, and then to actually make the, the vial that you'll need, well the flask that you'll need for the dyes, what you then do is, don't stand in the fire, you're full. What you then have to do is put the glass flask mould into the furnace along with the glass. You can see down here the, uh, the, the glass flask is going to be made at some point. Uh, it might take a while though because we've got quite a lot of stuff, um, unless we do that, which I never knew you could do. <laughs> All right, so that's handy. Uh, never knew you could, yeah, just do as you could drag and drop, uh, drop along the queue. So that means we're going to get our first glass flask. And bingo! There we go. And it's continuing to happen because so long as you leave the mould in there, it'll carry on making the glass flasks. Uh, we might as well let it happen a bit longer because in fact, yes, there's some yeah. Oh, I can't do it anymore. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's um, been a bit of a pain in the arse. So, yeah, that'll do that. And then we can make a few more. And it'll all be good. Alright, so having got some glass flasks, uh, we now need to make some dyes. However... Is that switched off? Yes, it is. However, we actually do need to get some things to turn into dyes. 
So I've got a few ideas about this. I've seen a, a brief list online, um, but I think I'm going to have a bit of a play around, see what, what I could actually find. I believe so far we can, well, we can definitely go and get some cactus. Um, there's a whole long list of these, and there's also ways of making dyes. Like, if you, um, if you add like a lightening or a darkening dye, you can you can come up with all sorts of combinations. So it isn't just like a few basic things. So I believe if you harvest this with your bare hand, I'll just tonk it. <laughs> come on, F just fist it. Stop fisting it. There we go. Punch. Oh no, you have to harvest it E, don't you? That's right. <laughs> it's been a while. Uh, and there we go. Plant fibre and cochineal or cochineal? Cochineal? However you pronounce it. Uh, get lots of that. Not sure how much we're going to need. So yes, those cactuses or cacti never used to provide this stuff, this cochineal. But hop, there we go. But now they do. So let's get back to where we once belonged. Keep out your turds. Where's the door? I always forget where the door is. God damn it, there it is. There we go. So let's have a go then. Let's some see how you actually get this done. I'm guessing it's just a case of putting in this. Is that right? Uh, no, it's not. Oh, hang on. Hang on. You have to fill this with water. Of course you do, otherwise there's no potion for us. Um, let's just get some light on the situation. Run down to the water's edge. Huh. Oh, I just had to press 8 and it's filled up. There we go. Just press press the hotkey and we have ourselves filled stuff. Let's use the side door. How decadent, we've got two doors. We're a two-door base. Right, let's see if this works. Water filled. Ah, there we go. Look. Um, we only want one, really. So, probably we'll have to stop this immediately. Once... What's this? Huh. Interesting. Right. <laughs> uh, just wait for this to happen. I presume we only need one die to die one piece of armour. And there we go. Just the one. Uh, let's take that out. In fact, no, let's, we might as well leave that in, might we? We can take that out. And we can do that. So now all we have to do now is work out how to dye the armour. Alright, so I've played around a bit. And it turns out it's actually based on a brand new interface to dye armour. And um, you select the um, whatever armour you've got. And I've still got really kind of basic armour here. And then you press the dye button. Um, and then, um, as you can see, there's a brand new interface. And this is the, your choice of dyes. I currently only have red. And this is your... Current, the current armour that we're looking at. And there are four different parts of it which you can die in different bits. And none of these changes will actually happen until you press save. So if you make a mistake it doesn't really matter too much. So with the, with the first one selected you can choose that and you've dyed that. And because it's leather it won't go sort of like bright red or anything. It'll be sort of like combining the sort of like leather colour with red. And if you don't like that you might want to choose that one instead. And you can do the red little throngy bits. Technical term. Or maybe that. Which will do that bit, or um, hang on, some just original colour it, and there. And so once you're happy, um, then you can press save. Notice that you can basically use one die on one piece. You can't use it on multiple pieces. So press save, and there it is. It's um, done for all time, and we've used up our one bit of red die. Uh, so let's go and try and make some more. Then I wonder what we can actually. What we actually can use um. Apparently you might be able to use plant fibre. I'm not 100% sure about this. It seems that that seems a bit too easy to be true, frankly. On. Oh, yes, you can. You can turn it green. Huh. Well, that was easy. Um, iron bar, probably not. Couch and we've already used. Insects. And no. <laughs> Can't use insects. What about aloe vera? Nope. Can't use that either. So we probably only want one um, green, don't we? So we'll switch that off. Uh, let's go to um, our armour again. And we'll carry on doing this one. And instead, let's... Okay, let's uh, die. That! This is this is looking horrible. <laughs> this is looking vile! Ugh. Right, so let's go out into the world and try and find at least one or two more dies. 
Apparently there's something underwater. Which I don't know what it looks like or anything. <laughs> but let's have a go. See if there's anything. Orange... Oh, that's it. <laughs> that was straightforward. Uh, orange psychos, I think it is. I think that's what we want. There's quite a bit of it in the riverbed by the looks of it. Also some plant fibre. Also some fish. Let's get that out again before we die. <laughs> so to speak. Come on, get out of here. So orange. Ooh, that would be nice. So let's whip up some orange dye. Do we really want to do any more of that? Now where is the orange? There it is. On. It's quite generous. I mean, considering the rest of the game is like really brutal when it comes to using up your stuff. Um, just yeah, it's actually quite just one flask and one bit of orange psychos to to provide one die. I was thinking it was going to be like a million or whatever. That's what it usually is. I can't back that up. And we have ourselves an orange. So take that and party. This time we'll go for our trous. And there's only three bits here. I presume it's going to be that. Yes! Wow! We look hideous. But also strangely beautiful. Ah, how lovely. Right, so I'm just going to investigate over here. Um, I don't know if there's going to be anything, but apparently there are certain bushes that also provide a new one. Uh, so that'd be interesting to find. Also, apparently seeds? Seeds may also provide a die. Seed. Oh, there's some, there's some seeds right there. That's convenient. So apparently there's some bushes. New bushes. Uh, apparently they're new. It's got like scrubby bushes. I've got to be careful because there's going to be bastards around here. I don't know, nothing looks new over here. There's, this is quite a lux, um, luxurious area over here, so let's try here. There's bound to be bushes for days over here. Aloe leaves and branches. Not useful. Not really. Uh, it's going to be a few, ba a, few, a few baddies afterwards, but nothing we can't handle. Hmm. Yellow, yellow lotus blossom. Huh. That's old, isn't it? But maybe that'll be... That, that could provide us with something. And that's just aloe. That's just some really pe real piece of shit. <laughs> Plant fibre. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. Ow. Oh, it's a crock! Oh, I knew it would be something prickish like that. Huh. Well, I can't see any of the new bushes, but... That's not to say they're not here. I might just be staring right at them. Okay, let's see if we can get some new dyes out of what we got. Uh, there's a bit of a thing at the moment which people are complaining about. I'm on the forums all over the place. Is that the blacksmith sound is incredibly loud at the moment. You can just hear it tonking away incessantly in the ear in the ear piece that I'm wearing. And it's not pleasant. And a lot of people seem to agree with that. Uh, right. Okay, for these experiments I've got myself a few more flasks. And because we were, we were running very low. Yellow Lotus Blossom? Apparently not, unexpectedly. You cannot use that. Oh, that's a shame. It's even got yellow in the title. So let's try... well, seeds. Ah, that's more like it. Yes, we now have some brown dye. Oh, that's going to make things look even dirtier and more horrible, isn't it? <laughs> Never mind. Oh, right, so that's nearly done now. Oh, brimstone. Actually, brimstone. Uh, I think we've got some of that in one of these many chests of trove that we've accumulated. Oh, there's some more flasks. Uh, not that I cheated them in. Oh, right. Let's go here and try this. Yellow. Let's take the seeds out. So we've got ourselves the brown dye. It looks like it took five seeds, was that? Rather than just one. And the brimstone... Is this going to use three up? We'll see. Imminently. Oh, it's used... Oh, it's actually used five up. Yes, right. Okay. So it isn't quite so trivial. So what have we got? We've got yellow and brown. So let's just apply these and we'll be done, I think. Uh, let's try... Hand wraps. There's literally only one colour we can do here. Hmm. No. Hmm. Yeah, it'll do. 
So our hands are now brown. That's, that's actually quite funky. And finally, we'll just dye our footwear. Oh, look at those feet. <laughs> uh, with the thing that we, only thing we've got left. Oh, that actually looks quite funky. I'll, I'll take it. Let's see, what else can you... I can barely even see that one. Yeah, we just want the original. So obviously if you have more than one die at once, you can actually uh, choose and everything. And I'm doing it the very faffy way. Hang on, hang on. Oh, you need to select that, take it off, then select that. It's a little finickety, but nothing too, too awful. And there we have it! We are now beautiful. Um, <laughs> yeah. And if you get um, if you get your cl your entire clan to wear the same colours, you'll all know who each other are, and it'll be breathtaking, won't it? Okay, so it is a system that's worth experimenting with and discovering things for yourself. I'm not going to do a comprehensive guide on it or anything, because it is very fun to find out for yourself. Oh, just look on a, on a wiki, I guess. Um, so that is just a little taste of dying. As usual in Conan, it is going to require some time investment to get the most of it. Uh, but at least to start with, there's a bit of a setup cost, especially finding crystals and stuff like that. But once you actually get going with it, it's actually quite fun going to find new things, new colours to find and all that. Um, so okay, well, I won't be making any like Conan Let's Play videos in future, but I will keep an eye on it for interesting developments and mods and things like that, and we'll just dip into it from time to time. So thanks for watching, this has been Jamie from randomizeduser.com. Uh, subscribe for uh, videos on the latest indie games and stuff like that, and I'll see you next time.